Tales from the Future – Exploring Game Design Strategies for Creativity and Play Tales from the Future is a board game that we have designed to be printed out and played by two to four players divided into two teams. It is a storytelling game that focuses on imagining the future through narration. The purpose of this game is to encourage creative and collaborative ways of engaging with the future. Our motivation for creating it was that creativity has been linked to being able to productively deal with complexity and change. Therefore, we believe that engaging with the future in such collaborative co-creative ways is important for encouraging participation in debating and shaping futures in the real world as well. To design this game, we took inspiration from speculative design, game design and creativity research and formulated four design strategies that we used to turn these into concrete design elements, which I will briefly present in the following. To play the game, players first select two future trends out of a selection of 18 to set up a scenario in which their story will be set. For example, this could be a future shaped by an aging society and a political movement demanding equal rights for robots. Players then move on to the main phase of the game in which they co-create a story set in this scenario by taking turns coming up with small parts of it, or players collaborate to create one shared narrative. To structure the co-creation process, we looked at choose your own adventure style media that usually follow a narrative pattern of nodes and forking paths that branch out according to player choices. We adapted this as shown in the picture below. We broke down the pattern into scene descriptions, potential actions to be taken in the scenes, decisions on the actions and outcomes, and distributed them among the two teams playing the game. The blocks in the image below represent the blanks that will be filled with player-generated content over the course of the game. To support players' creativity in filling those spaces, we have included scaffolding elements such as pictograms, cards and fillable clothes tags that guide players and help them come up with a variety of ideas. Decision-making was another integral part of the game. The content blocks we have seen before are distributed in such a way that one team, here highlighted in red, provides options for actions that can be taken in a scene while the other team, here highlighted in blue, has to decide which one to take. Hereby one option has a positive and the other a negative impact on the story and the team providing the options has to prescribe, yet not disclose this to the other team. Thus, the blue team would be left to guess on the meaning and the impact of the action suggested by Team Red. This guessing provokes a lot of debate and discussion around the potential outcomes and possible interpretations. When asked for feedback, several players stated that these discussions were the most interesting parts of the game for them, because they allow meaningful interaction with others. Over their respective game sessions, players were able to create unexpected stories, with one player stating, the game opens space to think about the future in different ways than watching a movie or reading a book, indicating that this way of engaging the future is distinct and productive. In conclusion, participants use this game to create imaginative stories that negotiate desired futures and values. The Choose Your Own Adventure game pattern was highly useful for structuring the storytelling game. And finally, because of the way they encourage social interaction and engagement with other people, the co-creation aspect of the game and the discussions in specific were found to be the most meaningful part of the game experience. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and please do get in touch if you want to ask questions or discuss. Thank you.